Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm on vacation in the lower 48. I'm spending some time in my granny camper, which is my travel trailer that I bought and I keep down here when I want to spend more time traveling around, visiting with my family, and especially spending time with my grandchildren. Today I wanted to show you how to make some emergency food storage packs, some MRE or meals ready to eat, some emergency type meals that you might just put together, foods that you could have that you could open and eat, don't require any cooking. You could have them in your pantry ready to grab and go, put them in your bug out bag, your 72 hour kit in case you needed to evacuate and are a great way to just have some grab and go food if you're heading out the door and you want to make sure you have something. I thought about the grab and go open and eat foods that my little grandchildren are willing to eat and that's the kind of food that you want to have in an emergency meal pack. You want to have foods that you're willing to eat that don't require any cooking, nothing. These are the foods I put together for my little grandchildren so that I make sure I have enough food for them no matter what the situation. Of course, whenever you go out and you're spending time with your family, you always have some idea of your meal plan or maybe you've planned your camp out meals or your where you're going to stop at a restaurant or something like that whenever we're out and about. But what happens if you become stranded for some reason or you can't get home or you're in your home and you need to leave your home? You need to be able to grab and go and uh, no matter what the situation is, it could just end up being you decide you want to head out to the beach. You can grab a meal pack and get out and go. You can have an instant picnic if you want. So don't think of putting together emergency meal packs as just for SHTF catastrophe. That could happen, but there are a lot of reasons that you'll want to have food on the go ready to go. I planned out these emergency food storage pack meals as in threes because it's a 72 hour kit or a three day kit, three day emergencies, whatever. We're always told to plan for at least three days. So I looked at the multi packs that my little kids like and I put together uh, packs in threes. So let me show you the items that I'm putting into my pack. I started with three Cliff Bars. You can find any kind of protein bars, meal replacement bars, any kind of granola bars that you enjoy. These are flavors that my grandchildren are willing to eat and so I have three of these for each pack. Who can't love fruit snacks? You can pick them up even at the Dollar Tree. These are some fruit snacks that they love. If your kids are tired or cranky, you know a little sweet treat can cheer them up so in an emergency situation or even a long car ride or you're stranded somewhere, Having something that's delicious can really save the day. Next, I have three packs of nuts. If you have nut allergies, of course, this isn't something you would want. And if you have tiny little kids, they could choke on these. So make sure that you have age appropriate, allergy proof uh, snacks that you are willing to eat and you enjoy. Also from Dollar Tree, I picked up the Teddy Bear Graham Crackers that have chocolate chips in them. These come in a 10 pack for only $1.25. So it's hard to pass that up if you want to have something that's yummy and easy in your food storage meal pack. Next, I have three packs of peaches packed in juice. These are so easy to tear open and eat them and most kids love fruit. So choose the fruits that you like and we like peaches. Next, I have some juice boxes. These just happen to be organic. There's apple and grape. They include a little straw. You poke a hole through the top and you drink it with the straw. So these are shelf stable. They're easy to prepare. They're easy to open and have a little beverage. So make sure that you have some drinks to go with your food. Another food that my little grandchildren enjoy are the Go Go Squeeze fruit packs. I even like them. They're easy. You just twist it off and they're easy to drink right out of the tube. Then you don't even need a spoon. If you have the little fruit cups, you need to remember to pack a spoon. Something you may not even be aware of are the yogurt pouches that are now shelf stable. They used to have to always be refrigerated, but now they have go-go squeeze yogurts that are very good. The kids like them and you can have a dairy product and um, some yogurt to go. You don't have to worry about it being refrigerated or spoiling. The nice thing about the yogurts is they're grandma approved. Even I enjoy them. So I'm glad when I visit them, I can have some of these for them and I can enjoy them too. I have three Nutrigrain bars. My little kids like these. 
These are the strawberry ones. They come in all different kinds of flavors. These are softer than other types of bars. So I like to have a variety of different flavors and these are uh, granola bars that they enjoy. Next I have three packets of goldfish crackers. These travel better than say chips. Kids always seem to like goldfish crackers and it's easy then you have the individual servings. That's what's nice about putting these together as multi-packs is you can pass out a treat to the kids. I have some shark fruit snacks. These I picked up at the Dollar Tree. They're different from some of the other ones and the kids really like them. To round out the food, I have a jar of peanut butter and a package of Ritz crackers because if there's something my kids will always eat, it is peanut butter on a Ritz. So the Ritz are going to be more squished, so they're not going to travel as well. But if the kids will eat a spoonful of peanut butter even, that's something that I want to have for them. Put together a Ziploc bag with some napkins, some wet wipes, few little disposable spoons, knives, and forks, and you have your meal ready to go. Make sure also that you include water. Everybody needs at least one gallon of water per day. Put the water right next to your emergency pack so that you remember to take it with you. Make it a strategy when you buy multi-packs to set aside a few for your emergency kits. Then you don't have to have one big expense one day. If you set aside a few yogurts, a few fruit snacks, anytime you buy something like fruit snacks, set a few aside. Bought a box of granola bars, plan to set three of them aside in your bag. Even if money is tight, over time then you will have an emergency meal grab and go pack ready to go. How can you pack up your emergency food storage meal packets? Put them into a gallon Ziploc bag. If your foods are larger and they don't quite fit, when you go to the Dollar Tree, look for the jumbo size. These are even bigger. They're going to hold even more. But if you don't have any of that, you can do something as one of your reusable grocery bags, even a lunch bag that you already own, a backpack, something like that. So put together some easy to grab and go emergency meal kits so that you have the foods you need no matter what the situation is. There's so many reasons why you want to have some grab and go meals. It can really save the day and help you face whatever your day brings to you. Let us know in the comments below what kind of foods would you like to put in your DIY emergency meal packs. I hope you'll like my video, share my video, and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. What's in yours? What are these? Um, Markers. What are these? Markers. What's this? Mine. Is it a book? Yes, it's a it's book. It's a book. Okay, now you guys can have fun playing with your activity set from where? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree.